I'm going to look at setting up the bed so it's at 90 degrees to the blade. But before I do that, I need to just ensure that my mouth or throat piece is level with the bed. It could be slightly below, but at the moment actually it's up too high. I can see with my square, it's just hitting the edge of the mouthpiece. If I put my square on that, it's actually going to be holding it way out of square. So let's just get this level down. I've adjusted it or tapped it so it's up above the bed. Just going to tap it down. Now it's too low. I've got a little Allen key. There's some screws in here. As I screw the Allen key down, it pushes the mouthpiece up. My old hammer band saw, I used to have an adjustment from underneath. Basically a screw came up and it pushed up the mouthpiece. On the little kitty band saw, there's no adjustment at all. The mouthpiece sits where it was designed at the factory. If I put the Allen key in there, just spin him a little bit and I can see and feel already that's just rising a little bit. Let me do them in turn. Don't just concentrate and get one corner right because it may have a slight effect on the others. Get them in there, tweak that one, doesn't need very much. If anything, maybe better to have it slightly low than slightly high. But in a perfect world, we'll get the whole thing level if we can. Happy with that. I can either use the square for setting up for 90 degrees or I could use an angle cube. The angle cube basically has got magnets on it and it will stick to the blade and it will stick to the machine. So I'm going to stick it to the blade. The blade is in tension. I turn it on. If I sit that on the bed, that's saying it's about 0.3 of a degree out. I need to make sure that the angle cube is sitting at 90 degrees to the blade, not span around the other way. Otherwise, all it's telling me is what it's doing in this plane, not this one. This bandsaw can tilt 45 degrees one direction and about minus 10 the other. So at the moment, that's going down to actually minus almost 11 and a half degrees. Or I can bring him right over I've got to make sure on this one that this guard at the front is a lower position, otherwise I would bend that guard. Also, sometimes a mouth or throat piece could be a much thicker piece of plywood or plastic and what would happen as you wind it down, it will deform and bend the blade. So be careful, your mouthpiece is designed to allow you to go the angles we're trying to do. On the back here, there is a protractor on the machine and in a minute, I will find out how accurate that is. My angle cube is now saying, oh, we're just, I mean, this is really accurate. 44.9. Looking at my protractor, it's pretty accurate. It's not quite spot on. There is a little tiny screw in here, which I can undo and I can move the pointer down to really set it nice and fine if I want to. You can set a 90 degrees off a square or a 45 degrees off a 45 degree square. What's more difficult to set up is if I've got a drawing of something and I want an angle of 32 degrees. I can't really set up this for 32 degrees with well, obviously a square or 45 and also an old fashioned sliding bevel is not going to happen much either. So with this I can set it to exactly the angle I want. When you've got it at your 32 degrees, we need to lock down the bed. Lock it down and we can produce all of our angle work. When we've done that, we need to bring the bed back down to 90 degrees. When we do this, there's some fine adjustments that we can make within the mechanism that we have here. On this bandsaw and most bandsaws, you have a threaded bolt and a locking nut. If we undo the locking nut, we can adjust this threaded bolt either out or back in again and it will change how it actually comes down onto a stop that's within the machine. If you don't have this on your machine, it's not a difficult thing for you to make. You can drill a hole, you can tap it and you can put a bolt through. Just obviously make sure as you're doing that you're not hitting the electrics or anything else important. 
when this bolt comes down and makes contact with the head, it should then be at 90 degrees. For this machine, we can also bring it actually past the 90. We can bring it back to a minus 10. I actually have on here a little kind of turret stop, which I flip this around and now it will come back down to my 90. I will lock him off my bed and I then know that I've done my angle work and I'm back to do my normal ripping or cutting tenons on the bandsaw.